جرب حتى في هذا زاد يمشي يشتم زاد كل جرب. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome and thank you for joining us to this exceptional event organized by G African Affinity Forum in France. Um, in France, it's 2:15. Uh, I'm sorry, we are 15 minutes late. We are we experienced some issues, some technical issues, but the uh, Ms. Bouchamawi is uh, with us. Um, AF France is a network in which G employees aim to promote inclusion, diversity, and equality to provide career development and professional networking. Plus, it has a wider vision to create bridges between our members in Europe and Africa. My name is François Noël Laurent. I'm Senior Sales Manager of G, and I'm co-leader of AF France. Great. Today, we are pleased to introduce you our exceptional guest speaker who personalizes hope. She was indeed one of the Tunisian dialogue quartet who succeeded to restore peace with the chaotic Jasmine Revolution back in 2011. The famous Dialogue Quartet, composed of four civil society organizations, the Tunisian General Union, the Tunisian Human Rights League, the Tunisian Order of Lawyers, and finally, ITICA, the Tunisian Confederation of Industry, Trade, and Handicraft, which at that time was led by Wydad Shamawi. In 2015, the Nobel Peace Prize has been given to Widel Bouchamawi and her three peers. The Tunisian chapter has indeed proved to other countries that peaceful discussions can lead towards democracy. In a few seconds, Widel Bouchamawi will remind us the circumstances which led her to receive this Nobel Peace Prize. What has been accomplished during this revolution is outstanding and exemplary. A real success for the Tunisians but mainly a true empowerment to young people and women. It was a key and decisive moment for Tunisia based on the efforts of civil society. Wydad Bouchamawi, good afternoon. Good afternoon, how are you? Thank you for being here with us at G. Uh, we are in France, we are in Tunisia. Uh, it's a great honor to have you as a guest speaker today. I hope the brief introductions I just gave helps to understand the Tunisian con context between 2011 and 2015. Would, it, would you please remind us what were the circumstances that led you to be recognized for your work and awarded by the Nobel Prize organization? Uh, thank you so much. Allow me uh, first uh, to thank uh, all the people in GE for this invitation. I'm so honored to, to be with you today, and I'm so sorry for this delay. Uh, just uh, to, I mean, uh, to say what we did and for what reasons, I mean, uh, we received this Nobel Peace Prize Award. Uh, just to remember uh, everybody that um, I uh, was elected, I mean, as president of Tunisian Business Confederation, as the first woman uh, in the Arab world. And uh, we, I started this, I mean, uh, the, this position uh, uh, May on May 6, uh, 2011. Uh, the year, I mean, let's say 2012, uh, we we got so many I mean um, terrorist attacks in Tunisia, and we were really very I mean shocked as we were not as Tunisian uh, used and uh, concerned by this uh, kind of assassination. So uh, we as I mean uh, four organizations and the leaders of our, these four organizations decided I mean uh, we came together uh, and we decided to, to have a dialogue against terrorism. Unfortunately, this uh, this dialogue was short and uh, leave it by because we, we were unable to engage the political parties. Uh, but with the second, I mean, political assassination, uh, we became, I mean, aware of how it, uh, it, um, it was ur urgent for the civil society to find a solution. We got the first assassination, I mean, on February the 6th, uh, 2013, and the second one, it, the first one, it was, he was, I mean, um, uh, an activist and a lawyer and uh, from the oppos opposition party. The second, um, a political assassination uh, was in 
July 25th of July 2013, and really it was, I mean, something which is uh, very, I mean, uh, unusual and terrible in Tunisia. We were really very shocked, and uh, we were, I mean, afraid that we'll, uh, uh, you, we'll, uh, uh, we, we, we'll lose, I mean, our, um, let's say, our uh, revolution, our democracy. So. Um, when, I mean, the member, this uh, Brahmi, the, the member of the uh, parliament was assassinated, uh, for me, I went to the hospital and I saw with my own eyes how frustrated, I mean, and choked and moved, I mean, the crowds of ordinary people uh, were. Uh, at this time, I called the head of the, the union and to, together we organized a meeting uh, of what was um, to become the quartet, I mean, the four, uh, the four persons. We were at this, um, uh, the, um, at the union uh, I mean, uh, office, and we, we said, let's do something for Tunisia. Uh, we, uh, uh, we wrote at this moment this, uh, the roadmap. And we started to convince, I mean, politicians to, to, to sign this roadmap and to sit together and to have this dialogue. Uh, I mean, it's, it's not, it was not so f uh, easy because we are from the civil society. And um, we are not, I mean, re really, uh, we, we didn't and we are not, I mean, we didn't belong to some parties. But what we, what we got, I mean, this, um, the trust of people. So when the citizens, Tunisian, they trusted on us. We were so powerful and we started this uh, national dialogue. And uh, um, uh, this national dialogue I mean, allowed us I mean, to bring together the majority of the Tunisian political parties and the civil society. And uh, of course, we, with, with this roadmap, we, uh, we, uh, we, we tried I mean, to have this, uh, the path for, to find solution I mean, and to get off this, uh, this uh, confusion in Tunisia. And I think we succeeded in establishing this modern constitution for Tunisians' future. And um, uh, as I mean, um, it was I mean, uh, let's say, let's say it was I mean, a, a big stuff because you know we are not. I, I'm, I'm talking about myself. Uh, I'm, I'm, I was not uh, you. Uh, I mean, uh, used to 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 discuss with politician to to have this. I mean, uh, kind of meetings, but. Uh, I was, I mean, um, let's say, uh, I was uh, convinced that it's possible if we have, uh, we start the dialogue and we have something good and some, something which is uh, consistent, uh, politicians and people will, uh, will, uh, will trust on us and they will be with us. Uh, you know, um, uh, as we Tunisian trusted us uh, to be their voice, uh, I think we, we become like a, a kind uh, sort of savior for the civil society. And that was a big responsibility for us because it was our job to find a peaceful solution to our revolution and ensure, and ensure a democratic outcome. Uh, really, at this time, hopes were high. But I think our will was even stronger because we made Tunisia different. We changed Tunisia and we, it, because we moved from, I mean, uh, uh, one, from one regime to a modern, uh, modern democracy. Uh, but, uh, you know, we are not at the end of our path because the, we, have, uh, we still have uh, different challenges. Okay, you said it was not very easy and you discussed with politicians and different society people. Uh, how yeah. do we get so many different people around the table? You know, um, we we were just I mean four people from the, the for the from the four organization, but for for us we decided that we have to engage I mean uh, the politician parties because without them uh, the the political parties without them we could not succeed. They have, I mean, to sign because, you know, they have the power, I mean, that they have, uh, but um, what we did is we convinced it, I mean, it took, you know, the whole dialogue uh, took more than six months and uh, more than 1,700 1, hours. And we got some one-one meetings and the, the different meetings to convince, I mean, uh, uh, the parties to sign this roadmap. Of course, we, we, we got at this moment uh, 20, think, I think 21 parts that they signed this roadmap. Others, and uh, particularly the party of the President Marzouki, uh, refused to sign this. But we said, okay, as we have, as we had the majority, we need to go on and to go forward. And because people they are, they were waiting for us, and the situation it was really 
uh, I mean, uh, crucial and very sensitive at this moment. And we said, OK, let's go as we got the majority of parties. I understand. And once the roadmap was signed, um, what, what did it change after for Tunisia and for its citizens? I mean, uh, first, uh, we, 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 we assisted to, to, to the, the parliament, the parliament they, uh, should I mean, finish the, the, the constitution in one year uh, to get, I mean, to have also the, this, uh, the, the easy, it's, I mean, the instance to control elections, uh, to also to have uh, uh, the, the election, I mean, the, the, the parliamentary elections and the presidential elections in one year. So so for us, we push them to have an agenda, and we we were there to be uh, uh, we were there to, to 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 be sure that they have to respect the agenda. That's what they did, because for for us it was really very important to that we'll have these elections and to go to have I mean uh, strong parties there, and they have to continue this their job. I see, I see. Uh, we did in one of our previous meetings, you explained to me that the main three pillars of Tunisia were based mm -hmm. of its youth, of the civil society, and on the women. Uh, could yeah. you please give us some additional information about it? You know, um, uh, this, in, some, in December 20, uh, uh, in, uh, 2010, uh, till January 2011, uh, people I mean, young, particularly young people, they were uh, in the cities, in Tunisian cities, they, were, uh, they asked for democracy, they asked for jobs, and they asked for dignity. Without this, I mean, this main and very important pillar, I mean, the, the youth, uh, I think we, uh, we, we cannot dream about Tunisian revolution. And of course, this uh, civil society, which uh, I mean, uh, people they uh, they are involved in this uh, this uh, civil society to be the voice of others, to be the the voice of the majority. And really, it, uh, I think for 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 us, it was very important to have this uh, this 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 kind of civil society. Uh, I mean, very educated, very uh, aware about uh, uh, what. Uh, I mean, the, the, the challenges of Tunisia, they were also aware that they, they have to convince, they have to inform, they have to be uh, with uh, people. And uh, it's, as I think it's, it's very important for us. Of course, we, we, it's, I mean, it's impossible to not to, 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 to speak about Tunis Tunisian women because, I mean, this is for me is very important and this is a very important pillar because if when you have educated women, uh, emancipated women, uh, um, and, uh, you can also deal with this, I mean, change. And th thanks to the, those three pillars, we succeed to have this, I mean, a very soft revolution in Tunisia. And, and you think this democratic transition and this soft revolution uh, gave to Tunisia a new image, a positive image in the Arabic countries or other African countries or in Europe? Uh, how, I think, yes. you, you, met, you met a lot of people after you received this award. Uh, how yeah. they were feeling about Tunisia? Uh, I think for me, uh, the majority uh, of them, they know about the emancipation of Tunisian women. As you know, uh, for us, I mean, uh, uh, Tunisian women we were given the right to, to vote in '56. I mean, uh, I mean, many years before even we French women and different, I mean, uh, European women, and uh, um, uh, we got, I mean, um, even uh, uh, immediately after our independence, uh, the Tunisian constitution gave women equal rights and made education compulsory for all, regardless of our gender. So they. People, they have an idea about Tunisia, but what they got, I think, is the way, the peaceful way, um, uh, I mean, because, you know, as we are uh, in, in, in a region where is Libya, where is, I mean, in, in Asia, but uh, the situation was really not so good at this time, uh, I mean, at this time, so people, what we did is, um, we did it with the peaceful way, uh, non-violence and uh, people. I mean, uh, people outside Tunisia. They were uh, waiting 
for this uh, movement, uh, as we have a very educated, uh, I mean, people, uh, we are open, we are um, uh, near, we have a very strategic situation uh, and we are near Europe. So uh, I think it was, uh, let's say, uh, a good image that it's possible to have democracy in uh, Arab and, uh, and Arabic and the Muslim country, and we can have this democracy with dialogue, and uh, uh, we can have this de democracy even we have different uh, uh, points of view. Yeah, especially in the same moment, uh, we um, we noticed that some demonstration happened in about 15 or 20 different Arabic or Muslim countries. Uh, Tunisia is probably the only one who made it peacefully and were the thing we moved forward to democracy. Um, do, do you think um, Tunisia can be a model for the other countries, uh, maybe in the near future or later on, or for the countries or for the citizens? Um, I do not know if I may say it will be a model, but that we, people, others can, other countries uh, maybe they could be inspired by, by our experiences because you know it's uh, each country has I mean a different environment, a different point of view, a different a different challenges. But I think what may be what we can I mean uh, I, what I can say is they could follow our way, I mean, the, the, what we choose, uh, we choose the dialogue, and even with others that they have really different, completely different uh, point of view, but we, uh, we, 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 we reach it to, 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 to convince them just to, to stay around the table and to listen to others and to accept the differences. And then B, they can change their mind, they can be more open, they can they accept the dialogue. That's what we can I can say. I mean, the way, yes, it, it could, uh, it's, it's a good way, we can, but we have also uh, to be aware about, I mean, the specificities of each country. Uh, now, uh, a more personal question. Uh, we, we know you with it as a Nobel Peace Prize laureate. Uh, you are former president of Utica, and now you're president and shareholder of Bidni Bushamawi Group. Uh, more personally, today, who is with Ed Bushamawi? <laughs> That's a good question. Uh, you know, uh, I'm proud to be to, to say that I'm a Tunisian woman because it's uh, I, uh, I love this country and I'm so proud to be Tunisian because you know really we got uh, as Tunisian uh, thanks to a visionary Habib Bourguiba uh, uh, I I I got this I I had this chance to go to school to be I mean um, uh, to to follow my my dreams so. Um, uh, this is for me. It's very, uh, it's very important. I mean, uh, and um, also let's say, um, uh, I think I become who I am today thanks to my upbringing and uh, also to my father because my father was a self-made man. But I, he, my, my father made no differences between between girls and boys, and he uh, encouraged us all to study even though he didn't finish his uh, primary school. Uh, he believed uh, in all of us. And, uh, you know, it's just to say, uh, even as a child, he told me that one day I will be someone. Uh, so uh, I think uh, I am now, we did, uh, thanks to his, I mean, uh, uh, let's say, to my father, to, uh, to, to, because he encouraged my ambition and um, always he is, uh, uh, he was, I mean, now he's not uh, um, there to, 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 to teach us the best education. And I'm now uh, running, I mean, this, um, uh, the, bus uh, the fa family business with my brothers and sisters. Okay, thank you. So I, I presume he would have been very proud of you and what, what you did. Uh, so with it, Bushama Wiz, thank you very much. Um, okay, I, I need to apologize again to all of the audience because we started very late due to some technical issues. Uh, with the COVID, okay. it's not very easy to, to have this organized such uh, a such meeting with such long distance. So I would like to congratulate you um, with that for the work done uh, for the one in the next future. Thank you again. Uh, you, ladies and gentlemen, I hope you enjoyed these 20-25 minute sessions. 
And mainly you appreciate it as much as we did discovering with the Bushanawi's 2015 Nobel Peace Prize laureate. Uh, thank you again for joining. Have a great day to love you. Thank you and stay safe. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you.